Hello everyone, welcome to this Sims 3 world overview video. So today I am here in this New York recreation in The Sims 3. So as you can see here, there's this really impressive background scenery, but more impressive is the world itself. So this world is called Burrowsburg, and it was made by Potato Ballad Sims. So I did, I did not make this world, um, but I did post a teaser um, a few days ago um, that I was gonna make a video on this. Um, so yeah, this is a really impressive world. Um, basically a recreation of Brooklyn in uh, The Sims 3. So I did a video on this world um, a couple years ago, or almost a couple years ago, and there's been some changes since then, so that's why I'm making another one. Um, so back then, if you saw that video, and I'd recommend checking it out too, it's linked in the description below to that, but yeah, basically you can see it looks somewhat similar with some uh, notable differences from the map view, but the biggest difference is that a lot of these lots before, I think almost all of them, were just um, decorative shells. You can see there's still um, some like this, but now all these lots also have real houses on them. So as you can see here, um, this is uh, a lot right here, but now there's like an actual like apartment on it. I don't think I can actually see inside because I'm it's not my Sims house, but I will show you some of that in Edit Town. Um, but yeah, so. And you can see here, like, here's this townhouse. All these lots now have houses on them. Um, so, like, all these different blocks. Uh, very, very impressive. Um, yeah, so there's all these very realistic um, townhouses and apartment-style homes. You can see there's one right here. Uh, you can kind of tell which ones are, like, the actual houses because they have to, like, load in. Um, but, yeah, so that's one big difference. And another big difference, well, of course, before we move on to... Um, the other thing is I want to show you these buildings too. Um, these like really impressive apartment block uh, buildings that certainly look like um, real apartment buildings. Um, so these are kind of like shells, but there are like actual apartments on the inside. Um, but the other um, big change is now there's community lots. So as you can see here from the map view, we have like a hotel. There's like a base camp. So if you want your Sims to come and travel here. Um, and there's things like bowling alley, church. I'm going to go through all these in a little bit more detail in a moment, but yeah, so that's another big change. Um, before we get too far into this, though, um, I, w I do want to mention that this video is going to be coming out, um, I believe, on the same day that the world is being released, so there should be a down link in the description for the world. Um, if there is not, just check back soon. Um, yeah, so when you download the world, there will be a readme file, which I'd recommend checking out because this world does require um, some custom content. So I don't usually do videos with things with custom content on my channel. So I'm not an expert at it. So just, you know, if you have any questions about um, any of that, um, I'd recommend reaching out to the creator of the world. So there'll be a link in the description, of course, to like a bunch of information um, and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, uh, you can see here there's this uh, subway track. I showed this in um, in the first uh, video I did on this world, but uh, if I run the game a little bit faster, hopefully we'll see. Well, that's just the sim. I'm getting a little bit of information. Uh, you can also see, yeah, there's different mods and stuff that came uh, or that are required for the world, so you can kind of see all these different sims everywhere. Um, not something that I usually have in my game, so I'm not really going to go into depth about that sort of stuff because that's not things I've experienced with. I'm just going to talk about the world itself. Um, right now, I'm just waiting for the subway to come across on the um, train tracks, so let's see if it will happen. I really like still don't know what the timing is on these, but oh, here it comes. Yeah, so ooh, there's really cool details like the subways that run. Um, so there's this one above ground, and as you saw in the um, intro to the video, it's also ones below ground. There's the sim um, in, his, in his apartment there. So yeah, um, that's a really fun detail. And I'm just going to pause the game just for the sake of uh, keeping the lag to a minimum. But yeah, here you can see. So here's an example of one of the apartments because um, this is a, well, what I'm playing in right now is a save file that comes with the world. So it's uh, a populated uh, save game that has like all the sims in it. But yeah, so you can see here, this is an example of like the kind of apartment that you would see. Um, but of course, I'll go into that in a little bit more detail as well. But yeah, so these buildings, as you can see, oh, there's also laundry in the basement, um, are, you know, very uh, detailed looking um, apartment buildings, um, like just like even things like the satellite dishes, fire escapes, all that kind of stuff. And all of it like makes the world just like from like even like a very like close level, like when you're not like, you know what, map view or something, like if I get into 
um, f uh, first person camera here and like get down on the street level and start running the game. You can just see like how immersive this is. Like there's also a lot of ambient sounds as well. Um, it's all like really impressive and just like being able to get down at this level and just like see all this detail. Um, it's very cool and it's certainly like nothing else in The Sims 3. Um, oh, here comes another train there uh, running across. And you can see like there's different cars and stuff on uh, the highway and all that kind of stuff. But uh, some of the stuff I want to show you is some of these community lots that are really impressive as well. So these are like, you know, uh, part of what's different about this version of the world. So let's see if I can just uh, get my sim to visit here. But yeah, so this is the graveyard. Uh, technically for the world which is this really impressive church um yeah like just from the outside here you can see like like even just these buildings around it and this church itself it's just like really impressive um uh buildings that were made for this world um you know just like the amount of of effort that was put into this is really impressive but let's see if my sim is coming here um oh into the future portal just arrived that's a fun addition isn't it Okay, well, let's move away from that. <laughs> um, is he, where is he? Oh, he's still just getting out of the elevator. Oh, he's having some difficulties with that. Okay, well, let's just... Oh, gosh, he can't even get out of the elevator. Yes, he got trapped in the elevator doors. What a common problem. Okay, so here we are. Um, I just want him to come here so that, you know, we can get, like, the lights on, although I believe the lights are already on. Whatever, let's just get him inside. But, yeah, the most impressive um, things about... Uh, buildings like this is let's see if I put all the walls up and go into first person view just coming in here and like looking at um, Just like I'm just gonna pause the game for a second so I can get a little bit better frame rate But yeah, just like looking at the uh, ceiling like these vaulted uh, Ceilings here and just like the columns the way they put like these um, chandeliers I believe inside those columns so it looks like um, lights and also like the radiators there. I mean, of course, some of this stuff is custom content like these windows and um, the ceiling vaults and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's all very impressive. You can see it's like an altar and all that. So like I've I've not seen like a, a um, church building in The Sims that's quite like this or just has like this level of um, detail. Um, very impressive. And like there's a lot of detail in these community lots. So like if we go over to the bowling alley, for example, and there's already Sims here. Um, wait for the lot to load in for a second. But yeah, there's also a lot of other cool things as well. Um, like for example, um, well, I wasn't gonna show you at the waterfront while this was loading, but it's loaded now, so we can check it out in a second. But yeah, I'm just gonna pop down inside here. So like you can get an idea of like what this bowling alley looks like. Um, some of the furniture has not yet loaded in, but it's getting there. Um, but yeah, just like these really impressive, like large spaces. Um, yeah, really cool. All this, like all the furniture is still like loading in. There's a lot of stuff in this world. So, um, it can take a little bit of time for like all the objects to pop in, but yeah, you can see just like, um, you have like all these like details, like this control booth here for like the lights and music you'd imagine, you know, like for the, there's like a dance floor here, there's like a stage. Um, of course you have like the bowling lanes and there's also like uh, seating and there's like a bar and now you can get a better idea now that all the objects are coming in here. So yeah, just like a lot of detail um, in like lots like that. So that's like the bowling alley, just like really cool. And also even just the outside of the building, like you have all these cars kind of parked here, the graffiti. Um, just like the way that the building looks, it looks like really definitely like an old warehouse. And you can see there's even like these objects like buttresses and stuff that I believe are custom content as well. Um, and like speaking of like the waterfront area, this is what I was going to get to but before the bowling alley loaded. There's also like these old subway cars, like this kind of like a junkyard area. Um, and these are actually uh, houseboat uh, lots here. So you can see here this one um, is like a tugboat. It's really cool. Um, unfortunately, I can't uh, look inside it because my sim doesn't live there. And I don't feel like getting him to go visit. So I'll show you um, the inside of some of the houses uh, later on. But yeah, there's like just cool like details like that. There's an open um, port lot there. Um, there's also a dive lot. I think there's a couple dive lots. There's one here that I know of. So yeah, there's definitely like, there's, like something for everyone here. And of course, like even though all of this isn't technically part of the world, it just is a really nice backdrop to it. Um, out here, there's like a bar and there's also like the criminal hideout. 
so yeah just like just a really impressive um it's like a really impressive amount of things fit into like what is relatively small world as you can see but a lot of detail crammed into that um another lot i wanted to show you is this hotel here so this is a resort um it's kind of like similar to how i built a hotel in plymouth isle that is like technically a resort um but like once this loads in we just like drop down the walls um oh okay well it's not, actually you know what, honestly let me go in to oh no it's loaded i was gonna say let's go into edit town to see if i can get these things to load up a bit faster but it's here yeah so like this hotel is really cool so you have like your entrance here there's like this um kind of like events room that you can imagine having like an, a reception or something there or like a conference you have like this lobby with the elevators there's like a buffet here um yeah and just like bathrooms and all that kind of stuff and then like on the upper level we have like a dining room for like the buffet outdoor seating there there's like a whole like a wedding uh, section here and there's like this gym let's see if i can get like a little bit of a closer look if i like drop in yeah so you can just see like all the detail like every single individual room which of course i'm not going to like be able to jump into every single room but like all the rooms like you can see the ceilings are have details um but yeah just like all of these buildings have like really impressive details like look at this like whole like overlooking balcony and these like beams on the ceiling so yeah, and of course they have like these decorative uh, exterior walls for these buildings, so they look a little bit more detailed. I also really love this kind of like art on the side of the building. I think that's really cool. But you can see these are like the VIP rooms, um, of course, because this is like the way you have like Sims use rooms in the game. They're called like VIP rooms. So you have like all these rooms here, and there's like a whole like bar uh, at the top with like this uh, little like performing area. Let's see if I can drop inside here. Whoops. But yeah, you can see it's really cool double height, whoop, <laughs> double height room. There we go. You can get an idea of what that looks like. Um, yeah, just really cool. And of course, it's just like the hotel. There's like so many lots um, here. So much has changed since like the original uh, world. But like over here is like a World Adventures base camp. So it's like a place your Sims can stay at without having to like pay um, like they would obviously, or not with having to buy a house, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, so just like a lot of things going on here as well. Um, so there's a whole kitchen area, dining area. Of course, they can make food. And of course, everything's loading in here. It takes just a moment. Um, yeah, so over here is like some tables and stuff. It's just like a lot of really cool detail in all these buildings that, of course, I can't show everything. But yeah, you can see there's like some shared rooms here. Um, it's like a common area. And there's like some more shared rooms up here and like outdoor like roof deck. And you can see like these buildings um, that are like built uh, in the game. Just like they look like just like really like realistic, like with the fire escapes and everything. It's just like all just really kind of mesmerizing just to like explore. And that's why I recommend you can download this world and just explore it yourself. There's like a lot to see in it. Um, I actually want to show you. Uh, the subway, which I showed this in the last video I did because this was in um, the previous uh, version of the world. But yeah, so there's this whole subway station here you can see under the Central Park. Um, and then if you come down here, you can get down onto the platform. Um, I'm going to run the game uh, right now. You can see there's a sim here. Um, it's like just some really cool details like down here, for example. Like you can see there's like very like realistic. Um, oh, there goes the train. So you can see there goes the subway trains um, in the subway station. Um, but you can see like very realistic like uh, mosaic tile like uh, that says um, Burrowsburg Square but backwards. Um, and then like all the signs too like there's like these. Um, I'm just going to pause the game because the sim talking in the background. But yeah you can see like these um, signs that have like the, gym, the simlish um, and like these exit signs. It's all like it just all looks like a real subway station. Um, I'm just gonna get down here. Hold on, let me let me get. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't go to, super good to plan. Oh, okay, we're back. <laughs> the game just spazzed out for a second, but yeah, you can see here. Um, yeah, you can get down here. The ceiling has like the cross beams and everything on it. It's just all like really detailed. Um, so yeah, very impressive. Really, really love that. Um, so yeah. So just like so many things, just like these, uh, uh, you know, this park over here that has like these tennis courts and basketball courts. Um, yeah, just all, all just so many things to look at. Um, 
it's all really incredible. So yeah, so those are, uh, I think, the main community lots. There is one over here that's really interesting. This is like, I think, technically a festival lot, um, kind of like in this old grain um, warehouse. There's like this uh, kind of open area where Sims can come and hang out, perhaps do some nefarious activities, who knows? But yeah, there's like lots like that. Just a really cool variety of things. So yeah, there's that as well. Um, so yeah, I think that's like a pretty good overview of the community lots and various things. I mean, of course, there's more than what I showed you. Um, there's things like, I believe this is a bar. Uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah. Or this is like, yeah, it's a bar. So you have like games and things like fun lighting and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's like a very New York style of like building and like it feels like very real. Um, this is a very funky place as you can see, but yeah, so you can kind of get the idea, um, really cool stuff, but I'm going to hop into, um, a world that doesn't have all the Sims, like a version of the world that doesn't have all the Sims. So I can show you some of the apartments and stuff because all that is really cool as well. So I'll see you over there. All right. So as you can see here, um, start up a fresh, um, Burrowsburg. So it has this fun, like little, um, kind of overview of the world once you first load into it. But yeah, so if you want to play with the save file that's included with the game, of course you can do that and you'll have like all those Sims like uh, you saw um, earlier in the video. But yeah, if you start up a fresh um, empty version of the world, you still have like all the buildings and stuff, but uh, it may be a little bit um, better in the performance area, of course, because um, there's not so much happening in the background. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to show you some of these buildings, which of course, if you use the save file, they're populated. Um, so you have all those sims you can interact with and see and all that. But I did want to show you some of these apartments. Um, so yeah, you can see a lot of these, you, you have like, um, you know, like the main areas uh, or the other apartments would be are blacked out. But then you have like these really like fun, um, like cramped New York style apartments in a lot of these buildings. Um, and there's so, so many, there's even ones like uh, over here. I wanted to show you these, um, these kind of townhouses as well, um, which look very cool. Um, so yeah, so like this row of townhouses here, of course, uh, this one on the left is the one that your Sims can live in. Um, but yeah, just like all of the effort that was put into all of these, um, lots. I believe that there were some other people, um, involved in building some of the other lots, um, in the world. But yeah, so you can see here, it's of course not fully loaded in as, as usual. Um, but yeah, there's like all these fun details here um, in all these kinds of houses. So yeah, it's very cool. Um, and you can see the stuff is kind of loading in now. So there we go. Got a little bit of a better idea of what that all looks like. But yeah, just like even looking at the outside of these buildings though, just really cool. Just like all of these like areas, just like seeing like the whole... Um, Scott of the world. You can even see out there, there's like this really nice um, backdrop of Manhattan. Um, there's also like this house here on the corner. So this is like an actual house, um, I believe. It's the only one I think in the world that's like an actual house house. Maybe there might be another one somewhere, but yeah, this one's like an actual house. Um, but yeah, like so much like nice details in the house. Like there's like these vents on the outside, kind of like ventilation going through the inside that looks like maybe it was added after the fact or something. Um, and this house has like a really kind of fun, dark, dingy basement. Um, so yeah, there's like a lot of different, um, lots like that. But one of that I did want to show you was the, um, tugboat house, um, which is really cool. So this is one of the houseboat lots. Um, there's this one and then there's an empty one, um, right next door. So there's that one there. Also, there's like all this detail here, like you saw earlier in the video on these lots, but look at this, look at this tugboat really, really cool looking uh, houseboat. And if we go down in the basement, you can see this is where the uh, living quarters are. So yeah, just like a really, really cool build. It's like um, a little workshop, bedroom, like a little living area and all in one bathroom. Um, so all that kind of stuff. And actually I should have mentioned this earlier in the video, but of course I forgot, but the all in one bathroom just reminded me. Yeah. So this world, um, does require that you have all expansion packs. I don't think it uses any stuff packs though. Um, but yeah, there will be all the information um, linked in the description. So I'll have like a down link is also going to be a link to um, Potato Ballad Sims is um, Tumblr, which has 
all the information about the world. Of course, the README file too, when you download it, will contain all the information as well. So um, yeah, plenty of places where you can see everything that's required, everything you need, all the instructions on how to install it. So yeah, and if you have any questions, um, I'd recommend contacting the creator because um, they'll definitely know a lot more about it than me. Um, so yeah, anyway, I wanted to show you these buildings too. There's these really, really impressive giant um, apartment blocks here um, that are kind of reminiscent of like New York City public housing or just new, giant New York City apartment buildings. Um, so yeah, like you have this like first floor area. Of course, one of the elevators is out of service. How surprising. Um, and then over here, you see like a laundry room and then upstairs here, there's like an apartment up here. Um, so like very, very cool uh, to have like your sim living in like a building like this, definitely not something you normally get to experience in The Sims 3. Um, even in late night, like the apartment buildings in late night don't look this real. Um, so yeah, just like a lot of really cool houses and different apartments and things like that. Um, I don't think I showed this lot actually earlier. This is a really cool lot. I'm um, not a house, but this is a like studio, um, like a filming studio. So like you have this really cool building on the outside and then on the inside, um, you can see like, it's like, of course it's inside a shell here, but you have like your first floor, but then like the second floor or whatever floor this is, um, has like these really cool studio rooms and stuff. If you have like showtime or you want to use like the showtime stuff. Um, so yeah, just like so many really cool details. Of course there's, um, I believe some of these lots, um, are still empty technically. So you can build your own buildings in them or on them. I suppose. Actually, here's a house um, that's not uh, like an apartment building or something. So yeah, there are some house houses. Um, let's see if this one can load in. There we go. So yeah, so there are some lots like that. This one's by the church that we looked at earlier. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, so this is a pretty nice house that we have here. Um, we have like what looks like an enclosed kind of porch area or something. Or maybe not. I don't know. Just has some windows there. That's kind of interesting. But yeah, really cool. Um, let's see if there's a basement in this house. I don't know. Nothing's happening. I'm clicking the down button, so maybe not. Um, but yeah, so of course, I'm sorry. It's not like all loading in. I wish it could load in a little faster, but it is what it is. This world has a lot of stuff happening in it. So, um, sometimes it can take a few moments for all the objects on like a lot to load in. But yeah, there's are, there's like just a large variety. I guess like the main point I'm trying to make is a large variety of different houses in the world, so like you have houses like this that your Sims can live in as a um, a separate independent house, or they have uh, plenty of apartment buildings here, um, plenty of options like that, which are very cool. And then of course, you know, you have like straight up apartment buildings or houseboats um, as well. And of course, there's like all the rabbit holes are inside this lot. I don't know if you saw when I was in the game with the Sim, but yes, all the rabbit holes are inside this lot. There's some other rabbit holes like the diner, of course, and rabbit hole row here we have like um like the bookstore and grocery store and all that kind of stuff so yeah all those things are uh here so yeah very cool um also oh this is a cool house i'm gonna check this out i haven't looked at this house before but i was uh i was going to and i forgot about it I was just curious underneath the bridge like a really just a really cool location in general um with these like pillars and stuff here um oh look at this yeah so it's like a really cool a uh, house that's kind of like meant for like, I guess think people who are like hackers. Um, so yeah, just like really, really crazy stuff here. Um, and also this really cool like double height ceiling with like the um, kind of like duct work here and like the old like warehouse looking um, corrugated uh, metal like um, walls and all that kind of stuff. So like just very cool details and things like that. So yeah, um, like I said a few times before, you can download the house, link in the description, download the house, I'm so used to saying that. Download the world, there's a link in the description. Um, this world was created by Potato Ballad Sims. It's a very, very impressive world, as you can probably tell. Lots of time and effort went into this, um, and you know, there's like a lot of small details, plenty to explore, um, and a lot of like fun details, like the subway, just like the sounds, all the sounds in general. You can hear like people talking like in other apartments, um, and you can hear like the cars honking and like the birds chirping and you can see like steam coming out of all the vents and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, very, very cool. And then of course there's like the, all this like really impressive, you know, like, um, uh, backdrops and like really set the scene for this world. 
So yeah, very, very impressive. But hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you can consider subscribing. Uh, and of course, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed. And um, yeah, uh, leave a comment if you have any feedback below. And any information about this world is all in the description. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time.